actually started my work at Punch as a customer. Um, and I got to know the founder of this business, John Serrano, who's still my partner today, as just a customer. And I approached him one night and said, hey, if, you ever, if we ever sell Caribou, I'd love to help you grow this because I think it's got great potential. That's how I got involved in the business was that once I tried this pizza, maybe the first time you try it, you're a little bit freaked out because it's so different. Italian pizza, it's light um, because we use fresh mozzarella and our tomato sauce is just tomatoes. We don't cook it down, we don't add anything. So it is, it's a different type of product. Um, but once you have it, I call it the, the two times factor. You have it your second time and you're just blown away with the quality of the ingredients, the, the taste of the dough, the lightness of the pizza. And so you just get sucked in and that's how we've grown over 20 years. I was looking for financial executive recruiters in the Twin Cities and you know the first place I start with anything is type it into Google and see what comes up and one of the things I like to do is find articles written about it um, that are unbiased and there was an interesting article about Skywater and that led me to make a, an email request. That's probably the key challenge of this search is that we wanted somebody that's really capable but not somebody that is so senior or, or not hands-on enough that they're going to be freaked out when they're doing daily sales reports and inventory. Um, so somebody that could do that today but in five years you know we'd have a full-time accounts payable person, maybe a payroll person, um, you know maybe an additional clerical help. So someone that could scale up with our business um, and help us grow from about a $12 million business today to a $50 million business in 10 years. I spoke to John for about hmm, probably 15 minutes on the phone. John was looking for his first controller for his organization. Uh, we had a good dialogue on the phone. The two of us got together at one of his Punch Pizza's locations off of Hennepin Avenue. Then we went to his corporate headquarters, which is about mm, half a mile away or so. And we really s spent some time trying to get, in, get to know each other. I was getting to know his business. He was walking me around his business. He was telling me about his employees. He was showing me his various locations. And, and the reason I mention that is that's really key to the process. The more we get to know our client, the more time we get to spend with our client, the better ability we'd have to find candidates. A lot of the time when we're out there searching for candidates, we can match skill sets. We, we can find people that have A, B, C, and D of what a client might be looking for. But when you get to spend some time with a client, you've got an attentive client, the more time you get to spend with them, you get to understand their personality, what fits, the type of people they hire, things along those lines. So that was probably the biggest key to our success with Punch Pizza. We could find the skill sets, but then we interview people and we can sit and say, okay, John Puckett was looking for A, B, C, D, E. Um, but most importantly, from a characteristic standpoint, things like this, this person's gonna fit in from a dynamic standpoint with the culture that he has. Companies talk about culture. Um, they try to describe culture. Candidates ask about culture. Culture is very difficult to define. Culture is people and how people operate amongst each other. And so when you spend some time with somebody, you get to know their personality and then you meet somebody else and you're like, you know, these two people could click and they can work well together.